Coachman Spirit of America 30 foot no slide bunkhouse here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, one of the big reasons we put these videos together, especially on used inventory, is to show people what an RV is and especially what it is not. Now what this one is not is in perfect condition. And uh, that's why I put this video together. I want to go ahead and show you the things that are not ideal about this trailer right out right away. Um, rather than we don't we don't do smoke and mirror sales here at Halitz. If you look at some of the problems on this trailer and you say, oh, well, that's a deal breaker for me. Remember that before you even picked up the phone, before you spent your gas money, we showed you the things in this video and to help you make an educated decision. So if this isn't the RV, not a problem. Go ahead and stop playing this video. But remember that we showed you what is good and bad about this so that you can you know that you're working with a decent dealership here that's going to take care of you. Right away, I want to talk about one of the major issues here, and that is apparently this was either um, bumped into or it was uh, backed into something. There, uh, there are points here where the aluminum skin has been broken, so um, you know we've put a, a simple tape over it for now. And we, we've gone through and some people ask, well, why don't you fix the things that are wrong with every single camper? Because there are a lot of people out there looking for a hunting camper or a handyman special or something that they can wrench on and work on or a project piece. So we don't necessarily go through and fix and update every single unit that comes through. Sometimes we like to have a very, very low dollar option, something that might require a little bit of work, but we leave that up to you as the buyer. Could we fix some of these things? Absolutely, we absolutely can. We have a huge service department, but uh, we like to leave that uh, option up to you from time to time. Now, I think related to that, um, the, the puncture in the sidewall is the fact that next to both sides of the bed, there has been a little bit of water in the floor. And you can see here, the linoleum actually did cold crack a little bit. It did get cold enough that that linoleum split. But as you move up next to the bed, Let's see, where is it? Right here. There is a good sized soft spot right here. Now it does stop, so it is only located right in that one spot. Um, on the other side of the bed, there is a similar point. Uh, I don't see, the problem is it doesn't even really show up on video, but you see that little bit of dark spot right there? That is also a little bit of a soft spot. So again, remember, yeah, you know, these are not ideal things. We're not really excited to show you these types of things on a trailer, but we do that so you can make an educated decision. If you follow this black coax line, someone had uh, basically run an additional coax jumper, just a, a, a slave wire effectively up here, so they could run a second television up here in the bedroom space. It's a very, uh, you know, in a uh, price uh, effective way to accomplish that, you know, without necessarily digging into your roof structure. Um, lots of good storage in this camper, I will say that for it. A lot of floor plans like this do not have the, the full cabinets extending all the way up here to the bedroom. They'll give you this first cabinet by the microwave, and then they generally delete these other two, so it's nice to see that. Now, this is extra tall, too. This is 81 inches tall inside instead of 78. That's a really big deal when you're up there in the bunks, or uh, when you're in the shower in the bathroom, it gives you all that extra headroom that you really need up there. You see the previous owners were kind enough to leave the flat screen mounted here in the living room. Your dinette that we're looking at and the sofa that's directly behind us at this moment uh, in time, uh, is uh, they're both sleepers. They can both fold down. Um, you have what's called a Jack and Jill set up here where you have a double-sized lower bunk, single upper bunk with the extra wardrobe space there. Um, you see that it uh, looks like they had, I'm not exactly what, transpired here I really don't know what that would be because it looks like just some extra wiring that's kind of screwed to the wall so I don't know if they use that for a curtain maybe I'm not exactly sure what the purpose is uh, you know pretty standard RV bathroom nothing too special or spectacular here uh, we do have central air and heat in here at the time of this filming I do not know the working order of any of the major appliances my estimation is most of your major appliances like your refrigerator, microwave, water heater, stuff like that are working well. I have not personally tested it and I don't make promises I can't keep. So uh, if this is something that, uh, you know, at this point might still work for you, don't hesitate to call. Say, hey, you know, how, I mean, does any of this work? What, what, you know, what's the status of this RV? We'll certainly check it out for you. Before you ever put pen to paper, we can pull this thing up to the building. We can plug it in, show you what works, what doesn't. We want you to make a good, educated decision. That's the whole point of this entire adventure. That's the whole point of this video here. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And again, if this isn't the one, 
Remember, we showed you the good and the bad. We're a place that you can make an honest, uh, you know, well-educated decision with, and we'll help you make sure you find the right one for you and your family at a, at a price that works for both of us. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Halid RV, Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.